everybody. Welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. We're going to be meeting today with my colleague, Sid Srinivasan. Let's go check out what he's got. Oh, wow. Hey, Sid. Hey, it's Mitch. Good to see you. That's Sid me. is uh, one of our specialists in rock and roll music history. And I've been uh, cataloging this beautiful Gibson ES5 Switchmaster that belonged to the great Frank Zappa. Oh, really? Yeah. Frank Zappa's guitar. In 1965, Frank Zappa did the music for a movie called Run Home Slow, directed by Ted Brenner. And from uh, that movie, he got paid a chunk of money for that movie. And so he took that chunk of money and then he bought this guitar, uh, the ES5 Switchmaster, which is a jazz guitar. The first guitar he actually owned. Really? Yeah. This That's is the so amazing. So the guitars that he owned, uh, that he had before this, he actually either rented or he borrowed or he leased. Yeah. So he played this actual guitar on stage. He played this actual guitar on stage. There are photographs of him playing this guitar on stage before it was modified. Beautiful yeah, so piece. what is the deal with all these knobs on here? Right, so in the early photographs, uh, if you look at photographs in the late 60s of him playing the Switchmaster, none of these modifications and customizations exist. So it's a stock ES5. Oh, and the early photos of him playing us yes, weren't there? Yes, yes, yes. And so he's modified these with Barkus Berry pickups mm -hmm. and uh, electronics as well, which happened in the 80s. Um, and so if you look at the stock uh, ES5, it comes with six knobs mm -hmm. and a four-way selector switch over here. So this wow. is a complete... So it looks a lot different now. Very, very different. So the knobs are different. He's added switches to it. Bunch of um, toggle switches. Bunch of toggle switches. Do you think he switches. used this in the studio then in the 80s? He definitely used this in the studio. This looks like the original finish, I presume. This is the original sunburst finish. You can see that. You can see the wear. You can see the binding. All of it's really good. It's missing a pick guard. So if you look closely over here there Ooh. is a hole so that's that's well, where yeah he must have removed it to put this on instead all of this customization that uh, couldn't have happened if he hadn't removed the pick guard i mean he's such a well-known figure in the music industry yes he had a huge impact yes he's not he really did. a top 40 kind of guy his music's very deep very complicated so we're getting yeah. this directly from the zappa estate this is directly from the Zappa estate. Yeah. Wow. Well, you can't get any better provenance than that. This will be part of our Music Icons auction this November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Go online, Julian's Live. Register to bid.